Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video, a very early video. It's not early, it's 10.30, but my sleep cycle says that this is early. But anyways, guys, we have um, important stuff to talk about. I know I left you guys last night with kind of discussing like what the market needs this week. And uh, on another note, Footwatch, right as I went to sleep, well, not really, Footwatch at 3 in the morning uh, posted a code for guaranteed team of the season SBCs. So there is going to be a community team of the season so far player, and there is going to be uh, a 282 plus pack, four gold rare player pack, and then a and then an SBC that says one team of the season so far player from the championship, league one or league two. So this is a tough one. It's really hard to understand like when all this is gonna come. Um, my assumption, and I, and I know that this might be like not so popular, this week, I kind of feel like the community one is going to come first because it's in packs for the less amount of days left, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So, as you guys can see, the community team of the season so far is available in packs for four days. The EFL is in packs for seven days. So, the seven the EFL one is going to contain a chance at all these players, um, and then the community is going to ch contain a chance at all of these players. So, there'll be two separate chances at those types of players. We're also going to be getting a double 82 plus which is kind of interesting. That pack could be pretty good. Um, and that is, in my opinion, it looks like EA are going to be bringing maybe that out on Mondays. Because as you guys know, the upgrade packs are not going to be until Thursdays. So it looks like EA are going to be bringing out the 82 plus packs on Mondays. And then those will probably like be the upgrade packs that people can grind throughout the weekdays until the, the repeatable league SBCs come on Thursdays. So that seems to be what's going on. Um, in terms of a couple of things that we can do based off this code and, and kind of figuring out and looking into some things. Um, you know, this is something that I would really recommend. So when we go to FIFA 19, uh, we could take a look at, I think there's a thing that says expired SBCs. Uh, there should be like a foothead. Uh, there should be a foothead thing somewhere. I'm going to try to pull it up for you guys right now. Um, if I can get that foothead expired link, foothead.com. Uh, expired SBCs FIFA 19 as much as I don't like FIFA 19 uh, we got the squad building challenges here so as you guys can see uh, these are just wait FIFA 19 ultimate team uh, expired right so we want to find the expired ones um, and so we're gonna go here we're gonna look for the community one um, da -da 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 -da. flashback Muller Liga Noss guaranteed um, EFL team of the season challenge. So last year, the EFL came first and we needed an 83 squad with 70 chemistry. Now this year, I'm probably going to expect an 84 uh, just because of the price of two of the players. Um, I think EA will knock it up a bit. And then obviously that came first and then community came second on a Tuesday. Last year, community was only 84. So that's kind of interesting. Last year was only 84 for the community team of the season. Um, I think what for me is interesting is that we have gotten two or three party bag SBCs that required 86s. Now, party bags are a little bit different because the value of community team of the season players is not as high. You do have uh, Felipe Anderson, Zaha, you have Joe Gomez. You have three players close to a million coins, which I think EA... Um, can probably make the SPC at least 85, 86. It's going to be hard for me to envision a world where EA dropped this as an 84 due to the fact that um, an 84 squad costs right now like 60K and most of these players are above 60K. For EA to do well with this SPC, I think a sweet spot is about 100 to 125K. You know, it's also a team of the season SPC, so I wouldn't be surprised if EA made it like 200K. This is going to be really interesting, I, you know, because it's going to be hard for me to see this being a lot cheaper uh, than a party bag SBC. Um, it is, man. It's going to be hard for me to see it. I think this is going to be 85 at minimum um, with high chemistry or 86 with low chemistry. Uh, it could also be where EA just go full savage and make it like 80, 87. Um, if any of that happens, like I'm not going to be surprised. Um, EA is EA, right? So I think it's important to it's important to look at that. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it really is going to be interesting, guys. I'm not too sure what EA are going to do today. I'm going to make a couple last-minute, you know, like little investments if you guys see this video. Um, 
you know, I'm going to pick up a couple 80. I don't have 85s in my club, so I'm going to pick up some 85s. Now, look, i am got to be honest with you guys. I am buying 85s right now at potentially the worst time you could buy 85s. I am buying this eight hours after the code has even come out. So for me at the moment, I'm buying 85s literally at the worst time. You can see that these are being like insta bought at the moment. But again, wow, can I really not even get an 85 at 8.9? But again, I just want to stock my club with these for the potentialness of doing um, an SBC. Now, I don't know which one is going to come first. That's the thing that's confusing. I think this year, the thing that's a little bit different um, is that the community SB, the community goes out of packs before the EFL this year. And I kind of feel like that, that in a way, makes things a little bit different. Um, last year, the, the minor leagues go out of packs before the major leagues. But I think you guys know, as I just said, we've got a whole different story going on this year. So it's going to be interesting to see what EA bring first. I think whatever team of the season SBC does actually come out today um, is going to go up. Whatever comes out today, like all in all, whatever is required goes up today. Um, I think people really can't stand hiding away from a team of the season SBC. I also think you guys would like, we guys got to understand this concept of like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, like people don't do anything, man, on FIFA. So when EA dropped like repeatable upgrades or stuff like that, like Mondays are now a very menu heavy day on FIFA. So people will be way more inclined to do SBCs um, on days when they weren't going to, you know, when they weren't going to play gameplay um, or do that sort of thing. Um, I think EPL is going to be the one where we got the, we get the really high rated. like EPL team of the season is going to be the one where it's going to be 87 or 88. Um, you're probably not going to see that for the community. You're probably going to see that for the, the Premier League one. Um, where you could just get super high rated um, in terms of that sort of stuff. But yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, I think that we have a big opportunity in the next couple weeks where even if the fodder doesn't go up this week, um, you know, I think I think long term, long, long term, I, I really do strongly believe that we're going to see some really nice rises um, with fodder every time we get the guaranteed SBC. I think it's important to understand that this rise is consistent, man. If you guys go and look at graphs last year, SBC cards go up every single time it's required. And I look, I think the, the number one thing that I like about it is I have seen it this year, man. I've seen what has happened, guys, um, during party bag packs, right? Like, And I think the number one thing about the rating that I'm not sure about today, like with the party bag packs, there was a lot of really expensive players, but there's also a lot of players available in those packs that were like 100K um, or like 50K, you know? EA was able to release an 86 squad for people getting Nico Gaiten or Korea in most packs. So I think that the rating today is going to be really interesting. I think if it's 86 today, um, we are looking at a Prem one being at least 88 um, or 87, man, because it just, it all depends on today's rating. But I think that you could see things being really expensive for some other ones if today is expensive, right? So that's kind of just how I'm, I guess I'm slowly looking at it. And chemistry is just going to also be interesting, I think. Chemistry is also a, always a very mystery with EA. Sometimes the SPCs they release are like 50 chem. Sometimes they're like 80 chem. It's just, it seems to be really, really random with EA and chemistry and things like that. But even for a party bag last week, a guy like Donnarumma, um, this guy hit 18K last week for a party bag. So I'm feeling like if we get some direct 85 or 86 requirement come the next couple days, we're cashing out, man. We're cashing out. And I know a lot of you guys are watching me like, yo, Nick, why are you buying SPC cards? But you never do this. The reason for this, guys, is I have seen this rise on these cards for like a bunch of SPCs in a row now. And, you know, the rest of the market needs rewards. I've talked about this in my video last night. We don't have inflation on the market anymore, man. The market is so untradeable and broke right now that normal cards in the mo at the moment are just not doing well. Um, so, like, for me, I look at that and I'm like, okay, like... You know, let's 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 go get something else going, right? Let's get something that we see and, and know is consistently rising um, with the proper requirements. So that's that's exactly what you guys are seeing me do right now. Um, Nick, will you do the SBC? One hundred percent, one hundred percent. We'll do the SBC today. I always do it. Um, you know, unless the SBC is really really not worth it, you guys will always see me doing it. I always love to take uh, a little chance at potentially. You know, getting something big, I think it's important to it's important to roll the dice, man. Roll the dice if you guys have the opportunity with these packs. And uh, I think I think community team of the seasons and and these sort of SBCs are 
a very fun part of team of the season. So I pretty much will always do it. I think the one time the, or the times rather that I won't do it, uh, sometimes for the smaller team of the seasons, um, you guys probably won't see me doing it. Like sometimes like if there's an EFL pack for like, you know, a ridiculous price, I probably won't do it. Um, this guy, he managed at 21 K last week. He was 12 K yesterday. So a guy like him, is always a dude that we see going up. We're going to get one for the club. We're going to get a couple extra Jimenez because he's always going up. I'm telling you. I have a dude, man. There's a guy who used to watch me. His name is Unassigned Jimenez on Twitter, bro. This guy made a Twitter account of me memeing him for the amount of times that he bought Jimenez's and just made triple his coins. This guy would buy Jimenez, go on a sign for months, and be gone. So whether or not this SBC is today or not, you know, if it's not today... You guys get a greater opportunity, in my opinion, to further invest. If it is today, um, it's going to kickstart the fodder. If it's EFL today, you get again, you get another opportunity to probably invest. You know, a lot of people might be like, yo, Nick, do you think there's going to be overinvestment? Bros, I, I don't know if there even can be overinvestment. This is one of those SBCs that everybody in the world just does. Um, and I think EA, I think we had, we had talked about this all week, man. Like EA have done an excellent job at clearing out people's clubs um, via the party bag packs and some of those sort of packs. I feel like people don't have the level of coins that they used to have uh, or the level of untradeable items to put into SBCs um, that they once had. So I think that that is also something that I look at and I'm like, okay, you know, that's a reality at the moment. Like people just don't have the same uh, cards ready to be submitted into SBCs. And I would assume like things like that. Now I know that Delict... I might be going crazy, but I know that the Lick last time we had one of these also just went bonkers. I think he was like 20K. Yeah, he was 19K. So you'll see me with a couple of these guys. A couple of them, I'll buy a couple extra. Um, and a couple of them, you guys are noticing, I'm buying a couple 85s because this is me trying to cover my, not my bluff, but cover my, I don't, you know, like at minimum, it's going to be 85. So we know that it'll be minimum 85 high chemistry. So I'm buying a couple 85s because you guys know if you had watched me, I have recently bought a lot of the more high rated. You guys have seen the Luka Modric, these type of cards. And um, for me, it's like these, these a couple of these lower guys, I think are a little bit more, not profitable, but I think, I think there's a, I think there's some more money in some of these guys. Sule is, a, is not a bad one. I think Alaba is also a pretty good one most of the time. I don't know if he's on the market or if I can find him, but, uh. We will, uh, we will have to take a look and see if he is. I know that Marcelo usually goes up. And then I want to take a look with you guys real quick in my untradeable club because... Sorry, not my untradeable, my 84s because I think I did a couple of these SBCs the other week and I haven't looked at my club, um, you know, since that time. So I want to kind of make sure that I have... Um, well, I can't buy any of these right now. But I want to make sure, guys, that I have... Um, at the moment, enough 84s to do it because I know the 84s are a potential to be needed. And if it's, if we don't, then we'll go ahead, um, and we will do a little stock of 84s as well, because I think 84s, you know, last week I remember that for the party bags, like Cancelo at 15 K. So the ones with high chemistry and things like that will always do really well. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Um, I also know that potentially for the community one, there's going to be a team of the season required. So that's something to keep in mind as well. There's definitely going to be a team of the season required. It might be 85, 70 chemistry, one team of the season required. So in that case, um, some of the cheaper team of the seasons might go up. I'm trying to see if I have 84s though. God dang, I got a lot of stuff in my club. Uh, yeah, we have 84s. Okay, I was just making sure. We do have 84s. Now, cheapest team of the season... You know, it depends on the rating. I think it doesn't hurt to buy probably like a couple Pepe's maybe. He's the cheapest, eight, you know, he's he's the cheapest, uh, he's the cheapest team of the season. He's also a guy that probably could get in a lot of solutions. Um, I'm going to buy, like this is something that's a little bit more risky, but I'm going to buy a couple Pepe's. Now he was 39K yesterday, but I think there's a chance that he goes up. So I'm going to buy a couple. I'm not assume, I'm not I'm not like 100% that this is going to rise. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and get myself like five Pepe's and let's go ahead and also grab I mean Gulasi is Gulasi is 46 um, he's an 89 so let's go grab maybe like Gulasi as well now nah, let's just let's just keep with that because I know that a lot of the EFL players are also really cheap so yeah we'll see if it comes today boys um, you know, I think if it does, whatever is going to be required, 84s, 85s, whatever the SPC is, goes up. And uh, that's going to be the morning video. So enjoy the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.